This is Anthony Nunez and this video, I'm just gonna break down the different licenses for realtors in New York. So in New York, you basically have three different type of individuals working the field. And there are really two licenses. So one of those licenses is a real estate salesperson. So a salesperson is someone who has one level of educational uh, knowledge according to the state licensing requirements where they've done a 75 hour course and they've done continuing education to keep that course and that gives them the ability to engage in real estate practice in New York. That person can basically do almost everything except that they have to have their license with a, a brokerage. So this brokerage is basically who is representing the agent, all right? At, at this current time, I work with Century 21 Galvez and I am what would be an associate broker. So what's an associate broker? An associate broker is someone who has a broker's license, which is basically the same thing as a salesperson's license, except that you have 120 hours of uh, you took 120 hours of courses and you've passed an exam with a little more content and now you have the ability to potentially open up your own brokerage in the future if you wanted to, but you have opted to work under a different broker owner and work for their office. So you engage in real estate the same in the same manner as a salesperson, You're just your title is associate broker. And then there is a different type of broker which is called the broker Owner. So the broker owner is the same as an associate broker, same level of uh, educational requirements and testing requirements, except that this broker owner owns the real estate brokerage and they can now have other salesperson and associate brokers working under their brokerage. So can you just skip all the steps and jump right into being a broker owner? No, in New York State at least, you have to be a salesperson for a minimum of two years and you have to show that you have a certain level of experience in the field, which New York does it with a point system. So that is one level of differentiation is that anybody you see coming with an associate broker or a broker owner um, on their business card you know that they have a certain amount of volume or experience backing that um, classification. So in general, all um, if you're a salesperson, associate broker, broker owner, you're gonna see these individuals if you're out buying or selling a house, they can all do the same process. It's just a matter on the back end how they operate under the brokerage. So. Hope that clarifies any confusion that as people are looking for homes or investing in real estate in New York or engaging in real estate in New York, you'll see those two licenses operated in three different ways. And then there's other things like designations and certifications that realtors will get in addition to those licenses. And you can, um, if you have a specific uh, niche, you can get a certification or designation in that niche and that can possibly appeal to buyers who are looking for that. So for example, if you wanted to you know, go green and sustainability, if you're in that movement, there's designations and certifications where you can be aligned to someone who has uh, a particular specialty or at least educational specialty to that particular feature or component.